There are six key elements to be considered for sustainability. In the section on facilitating the event, we touched on these elements because at the end of the event is when we created the follow-up plan. Here, we'll go in a little more detail on each of these elements. First is the validation of improvement results. We have implemented a solution, but did it have the expected results? Are we confident that the changes that we are seeing are a result of our improvement or are they just random, which happens a lot? We'll compare results to our baseline to confirm the improvement. Next is documentation. While documentation, such as process maps and job aids, for our new process would have been created during the event, in the follow-up phase, we have the chance to collaborate with the users of the documentation to ensure that the project documentation is valuable from their perspective. Next, we'll identify the key performance indicators or measures that are related to our project goal or main output. Those key measures will be visually displayed so that the people in the process can work together to prevent, detect and respond to issues rapidly and effectively. Service level agreements or SLAs will be put in place to ensure that people in the process understand and agree to key requirements to create smooth handoffs and interactions between each other. SLA is very, very important. Without leadership support up the chain, our new process has very little chance of succeeding and surviving. Leader standard work will be established to identify specific tasks that need to be done by leaders to support and manage the process and drive the results. The closure of the project should not be an ambiguous event. There are specific steps to properly close a project, including the final stakeholder management, project documentation, and team celebration. Let's talk through each of these in a little more detail.